Christian gets settled here his very first time in the announcing chair because this isn't the normal Christian you may know from the Schmodown. This is Christian Ruval Kaba, oh. a.k.a. Cobster. I, How you doing? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm really here just to tell everybody that the Lost World Jurassic Park is a good Jurassic Park movie, but also we're going to be doing some movie trivia. Your debut and your last time apparently on the movie desk Sorry. here. We have a very special match for all our patrons. This is the Jurassic Park Schmodown. People ask for it. This is one of our theme matches between two titans of Jurassic Park knowledge. They love the original trilogy. They love the new movies. Some of them even love reading the books, Copster. Oh, Cody yes. Hall, Perry Nemiroff, how do you see this one shaping up? Well, you see the first Jurassic Park had two show, two no-shows, one sick triceratops. I think these two are ready to play today. <laughs> It'd be very disappointing for the fans if one of them was feeling sick and yeah. did not show up to compete in the Iron Man format is what we have for everybody. So if you're not already a member of the movie trivia showdown. How the hell are you watching this right now? Because it's just for the Patreon, at least until January, when the rest of the world might get to witness it. So when you look at the carnage that ensues, you not only have to look at who knows more about Jurassic Park, Copster, yes. but it's also about the Iron Man format. 30 minutes of as many questions as they can possibly yes. handle with Perry Nemiroff, Cody Hall. These are our two competitors. They don't mm -hmm. have a great track record in the showdown, mm -hmm. but this is a totally different beast, no pun intended, and 30 minutes on the clock. Boy, that takes a lot of endurance. It's a lot of time. There's a lot of questions, a lot of movies to cover, and I think these two are very prepared. They, they, uh, out of all the people in this studio, they're the only other two that I think I, I can connect with them on these movies past the first one. I know everybody likes the first one, holds that up in a high regard, but I think a lot of the other movies in this franchise are a lot better as well, and I think they think the same, so I think they're ready to go for today. And they both consider themselves the Jurassic Park expert around the office, so at the end of this match, a world will be lost, a kingdom will have fallen, and we will have a champion of Jurassic Park knowledge, mm. at least here at Collider Video. When you look at the favorite here today, yes. technically it's Perry Nemiroff, but mm. I got to tell you, we had to reach deep into the annals of the Schmodown, and that's not a dirty term unless you want to make it that so at home because Cody Hall 0-3 mm. yes. in Schmodown history. But to be fair to Cody Hall, he's had some pretty stiff competition mm -hmm. in his day. Yeah, his very first debut, he went up against Christian Harloff. His second year, he was with me and Ace, and we went up against Mark Riley and Dan Merle. And then finally, when he made his Schmodown debut uh, on the new stage, he went up against Lon Harris, and these are some juggernauts. <laughs> it's like putting a goat out there for a T-Rex. I mean, uh -huh. there's only so much you can do. What's the matter, Katie? Never had lamb chops? Oh, I see. Uh -huh. seen the movies as well. And when you look at Perry Nemiroff, she is one and two. She does have a victory in the yes. Schmodown, but it's been forever since she competed. I believe mm -hmm. 1973 was the last mm -hmm. time she sat in front of the yes. floor ready to answer questions. Mm -hmm. Is Russ going to be a factor for either one of these two? I don't think so. I think Perry is very much ready for this match. I think she went through the movies. I think Cody went through the movies, and I think they're both ready to, uh, uh, to battle out in this match. And it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this Iron Man match because it is nonstop. I think we've all been there for the first mm -hmm. round, second round, and third round, but this is straight through. Is their stamina going to hold up? We'll see. Iron Man matches have given us some of the biggest drama and the most compelling matches in the history of the movie trivia showdown. I'm looking forward to another big one here today. Before we introduce our competitors, let's go to the tail of the tape. For that, we go back to the broad shoulders of Copster. Yes, that's right. So for Perry, uh, her t her tail, her strengths rather are reading the books from the great Michael Crichton, uh, Blue Moon Ale, and of course Cats, because you know we all love Dewey. <laughs> And then for Cody, we've got uh, the, probably the greatest beer of all time, Pacifico. And then as well as Taco Bell. Got to get those nacho fries when they're still here. And, of course, upside down kisses to Nickelback. Well, okay. What he likes to yeah. do on his, on his free time. I got to be honest, I didn't hear a whole lot of Jurassic Park know how no. either one of their mm -hmm. tail from the tapes. But, hey, they showed up here today. You guys supported the Patreon. That's why you're checking it out. Thank you for your continued patronage of the movie trivia showdown. And without further ado, um, I feel ready for this. Cops, are you ready for your your very first performance in the announcing desk. Uh, yeah, I don't have to like yell, do I? That's you. <laughs> That's You're... my job okay. because it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. <laughs> Introducing first. He sits next to Cobster, my desk mate for this announcing match, and he's seen every one of the Jurassic Park movies no less than 500 times with a record of 0-3. Please welcome Cody the Web Slinger Hall! <laughs> Wearing a Jurassic Park oh, He doesn't Park know, shirt. he doesn't know which camera is his. Oh no. <laughs> oh, hold on, he's gotta tie his shoes. Oh, and look at that, he's got the T-Rex on his foot. 
Wow. Rex shoes. I can go, it is a fact that this is the second time he has worn these shoes. Okay. T-Rex shoes there. Cody usually on the other side of these Schmodown matches. He's no stranger to the Schmodown, just yeah, sitting in that desk yeah. and not testing the mic, actually having the mic tested for him. He's got his Target Jurassic Park t-shirt and he's ready to go. And his opponent coming in with a record of one and two and undefeated in the world of nurturing kittens. Please welcome Scary Perry, the mother of Dewey Nimera. Oh, she's she doing is. it for She's got to do it for Dewey, wow. as you do. She's coming out to a great theme here. Oh, she's got, a, she's got something too. Everybody to hold, she's got something. Oh, perhaps. Theatrics. Oh, oh boy. Meow. Dewey with the... I think there's a cat in the studio. <laughs> that's, a, that that's a dead on impression of Dewey there, Coster. Thank you. Oh yeah, we get along. That's, that's why you're sitting here today. Not for your announcing ability, but your all. ability to imitate pets around the office. All right, well, we have Perry Nemirov and Cody Hall. They're seated up there on the desk because we don't get a chance to see y'all in this position during the movie trivia showdown too often. If I can just quickly ask each competitor, Perry, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling confident as far as Jurassic Park 1 goes. Lost World, yeah. After that, the details might get hazy, but the biggest problem for me right now, it's gonna be spelling. It's gonna be spelling, and I'm glad you brought that up, Copster, yes. as you fixed your hat due to my orders. Uh, I believe that spelling, we just need them to make sure they hit all the syllables. If yes. you're, you, you, you need to have your vowels and your consonants in place, but if you miss the spelling of a word, there's a lot of really complicated mm -hmm. creatures and actors and actresses in, the world of Jurassic Park, so we're not gonna penalize you too tough on spelling. No. But pronunciation and all that, we, we, we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna be sticklers here. You don't need to spell in Kylosaurus, you just need to know that it's got an armored back. That's it. I'm not sure what you just said, so we go to Cody no? Hall. How are you oh, feeling no. right now at the outside of the match? I think I'm gonna be okay. There's no classics on the wheel. There's not even a wheel, so I think I'm doing <laughs> just fine today. <laughs> all right, Copter. Well, the fans are gonna be eating this up like Dr. John Hammond eating ice cream that is quickly melting. I feel ready to go. Our competitors are ready. So without further ado, let's get ready to schmodown. <laughs> Jurassic Park style. This is the Iron Man format. And here are the rules. It's pretty simple. We put 30 minutes on the clock. For the first 28 of those, the clock will be continuously running down, like I said, until we get to two minutes. We're going to be asking you questions, both of us going back and forth. With each question that's asked, you have approximately 15 seconds to write down an answer. And then when we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show what you wrote down on the whiteboard at the same time you verbalize it into the microphone. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. And obviously there is no stealing throughout the duration of an Iron Man match. Once we get to two minutes, we'll stop the clock. Everybody can take a breather and the buzzers come out. And that's when we begin our lightning round that will take us to the end of the match. And I'll remind you guys of that format once we get to two minutes. In the meantime, you each have one timeout that you can call, and what that timeout does is it doesn't stop the running clock, but it stops us asking questions for a minute. You can collect your thoughts, collect your breath, talk to your friends, take a sip of water, whatever you need to do. You each have one timeout, but you must call that timeout with six minutes or more remaining. Once we get to under six minutes, no timeouts will be called, and they are rendered null and void if you have any currently in your pocket. All right. Everybody ready to go here? We're all set. Christian Rubelkaba yes. has the honor of asking the very first question, thanks to our hardworking writing team, whose names escape me at the moment. <laughs> Chris Galicki and Patrick Campbell. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. Question number one. How fast in miles per hour did they clock the T-Rex in Jurassic Park? Ooh, taking off with the oh. with a classic. Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay, first movie. Stretching the brain. Go to five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Perry. That would be 32 miles an hour. And Cody Hall. 35. Oh, the answer is 32. That is correct, Perry, one point. 32 miles per hour, and Perry draws first blood. Your next question. In the lost world, what is the name of Ian Malcolm's daughter? Just need the first name there. I don't even know her last name. Uh, I remember some things about the Lost World. Mainly, I uh, loving it when I, when I saw it the first time mm -hmm. and falling asleep every subsequent. Oh year. no! Five, no. four, three, two, one, and we go to Cody Hall. I believe it's Kelly. 
It is, in fact, yes. Kelly. Tanner I am Nimrod. Kelly. Is the last name Curtis? Uh, Can we I make have, that part up? I don't have that information, yeah. but we don't need it. You got a point. Perry retains the lead, Copster. That is correct. All right. Question number three. What is the name of Dr. Grant's assistant in Jurassic Park 3? Sounds like uh, local law enforcement wants to come check this match out as well. Hey. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down to Perry. Would be Billy. That's correct. Cody? Billy. 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 <laughs> that is correct. That's like he's in Silence of the Lambs. Our yes. next question. Which leg does Malcolm injure in Jurassic Ooh. Park? <laughs> what? That's terrible. Which leg? You got a 50-50 um, shot, okay? <laughs> he might have three legs. I got to go back and watch that movie again. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, <laughs> One, Cody Hall. <laughs> left? That's correct. Yes. I picked the left. Yeah, <laughs> we all win. My left foot. <laughs> Copster's up next. All right, question number five. What is the name of Bryce Dallas Cow Bryce, excuse me. What is the name of Bryce Dallas Howard's character in Jurassic World? I just stumble over my words there. You just need oh, the first name? First yeah. name, oh. yes. Oh, Perry knows the last Go name. Go to five. I can't award it. Four, Actually, three, two, one pens down, Perry. That would be Claire. That is correct. Claire. That is correct. All right, your next question. While on their way to the island in Jurassic Park 3, Dr. Grant has a bizarre dream with a raptor that speaks to him. What does the raptor say Ooh. in a word? Ooh, boy. I can't defend this movie. Never seen it. I oh. Never seen it. Yeah, look. you know, some great stuff. But Five, four, three, Two. Did you say great? One. Pens down, Cody Hall. Allen. That's correct. That is correct. Allen. Oh, okay. oh Perry looked nervous on that one. I they did. both got have it seen back. the movies. Back to Copster. All righty. Number seven. Uh, in Jurassic Park, what is Dr. Ellie Sattler's profession? Ooh. Oh, I love that they know this stuff. So oh, many, it makes me so happy. So many things you could be a doctor of. I, I mean, you know, I don't want to say any because I could accidentally say Five, it. Five, four, three, two, one pens down. Is it chiropractor Perry? Paleobotanist. Ooh. Paleobotanist. Oh, they both got it. Yes. Accepted botanist. Wow. I would have just accepted it, but I'm All so right. happy you two said that. Next question. What year saw the release in the United States of Jurassic Park 3? Yeah, see, this is the one that's going to be a man's up. flavor. Yeah. Yes. He I'm loves dinosaurs do as well. I'm debating. Okay. Five, four, three, two. And one. Pens down, Cody. 2001. That's correct. I Harry was Amber. way early. Ooh, 98. 98. And we are tied. Tie ball game here. Oh, All right. right. Back to Cobster. All right. What is the name of the island chain referenced at the start of the Lost World? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Ooh. They know it. Boy. Oh, I love this. I love a good Iron Man match. This is great. And we're tied early in this one. I worried about that one. Four minutes have gone by. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down to Perry. Five deaths. That's correct. I did the Spanish version, Los Cinco is Marcos. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> si, senor. Yes, you are right. Oh, Cody I loves love it. him. Some south of the border dining <laughs> as well as pronunciation. We move on to in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Oh, what shit. type of natural disaster is threatening to destroy huh. the park? Did you hear the groan yeah. when I said five? <laughs> it I makes me sad. Fallen it makes Kingdom. me sad talking about it. I had fun with it. Yeah. Five. Four, three, two, one, to Cody Hall. Volcanic eruption? Wait, yes, we can accept that? Volcano. Yes, that's correct. Except either one of those. All righty. Still tied. In Jurassic Park 3, what type of dinosaur startles Eric when he and Dr. Grant are hiding away in the abandoned engine truck? Whew. Boy, spelling could be a factor. See, there's this for one. Us, I mean, not this, for them. this one. <laughs> Five, four, three, Two, one, does Perry have it? Compies? That's correct. Okay, you accept compies? Yes, we okay. accept compies. That is absolutely correct. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the real pronunciation of that. All right. Next question. What does Lex refer herself after her brother Tim makes fun of her in Jurassic Park? What does Lexi refer to herself after Tim makes fun of her in Jurassic Park? Give them a free JTE rule. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Okay. Probably could have worded it better. Uh, five... Four, three, two, one, and we go to Perry Nimrod. I prefer to be called a hacker. That is correct. Hacker. That's right. She's not a nerd. She is a hacker. Could be the same thing. All righty. 
Who plays Donald Gennaro, the blood-sucking lawyer? Oh, need the actor. Yeah. yeah. This one could trip them up. Yeah. 11, 11. Mm-hmm. All right. This is uh, compelling stuff so far. Six minutes have gone by. We go to five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Cody Hall. What nope. do you got? Okay. <laughs> Martin <laughs> Ferrero. That is correct. <laughs> and Perry Ferrero takes correct. another lead. We go to your next question. In Fallen Kingdom, Lockwood carries a cane to help him walk. What is on the head of the cane? Cody's contemplating it right now. I wonder how many times they saw Fallen Kingdom because this movie just released. Five, it's it four, three, two, one. Pens down, Perry. Amber. That's correct. Put mosquito. Oh, no, and like mosquito amber. inside the amber. amber. Two point it's lead. Fine. I don't know. Can't, can't, accept, can't accept, accept it. it. Sorry. Uh, who hits Dr. Grant just before landing on Isla Sorna in Jurassic oh, Park 3? Oh, boy. Okay. Harry seemed to be building some momentum now mm -hmm. with a two point lead. These Jurassic Park 3 questions are throwing him off. I think I have the video game. Five, four, like Sega Genesis, three, two, one. Pens down, Cody. He's either Nash or Cooper. I'm going to go Nash. Oh, oh Perry? that's funny. I went Cooper. It is Cooper. It is Cooper, yes. and it's a three-point gash wow. for Perry over Cody. Your next question. How many species of dinosaurs <sighs> appear on screen in the first classic Jurassic Park? Give him a little bit longer yeah. on this one. Need a number. All Just right. a number. Need a number. Going to give him 20 seconds yes. for this one. Could have had them list off all the dinosaurs. <laughs> that would have been fun. <laughs> it's, this is like a game of saw for you. Isn't yeah. Dinosaur. Five. Dinosaur. Th four. Three. Two. One. And pens down. Oh, we go I'm to so Perry. Off. What do you got? I forgot about the herd. I started counting six. Ooh, That's close, Cody. Eight. Ooh, it is seven. Oh, seven. Seven. Cody with an opportunity. Yes. Couldn't capitalize. Back right. to Copster. Who is the owner of Jurassic World in Jurassic World? Still a pretty close game. Is that the one with uh, the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville? <laughs> that Five. Is, I'm so glad it is. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, Cody. Simon Masrani. That's correct. Oh, I just wrote Masrani. We can we'll, accept we that. We will accept That's Masrani fine. as well, Masrani. just like they do on Jeopardy. Your next mm -hmm. question. Who manages to tranquilize the T-Rex, officially capturing the animal for transport in the lost world? Need the first name. Yes. If you get first and last, the name of the character. a badass. There might be two answers to this question. Five, four, three, mm -hmm. two, okay. Okay. one. Pens down to Perry. If it's the second time, it's Sarah. Okay, I didn't think no. about that. Roland? It's, oh, we'll accept both of those. So both correct. those yes. answers count. We've seen the Lost specific. World, and we go back to Copster for the next one. Perry clinging to a three-point lead. In Jurassic Park 3, who was carrying the satellite phone just before getting eaten by the Spinosaurus? Jurassic Park, no? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Cody Hall. Is that Nash? That is Nash. <sighs> okay. That's correct. It's Cooper. Oh, incorrect. Oh. Cody got it right. Perry Wait, what? It. it is Nash. Cooper, Cooper well, Cooper. You, you each have one challenge if you want to use it. Oh, you're Cooper right. Was eaten before. You're right. You're Our right. next question. What kind of berries does Ellie think the Triceratops has been eating, which could have led to its sickness? Oh, God getting into yeah. very, yeah. very questions. Mm -hmm. It is said in the movie. I hope it's not blueberries like that awful Peter Rabbit. Five, four, three, two, one. Go to Perry. West Indian lilac That's berries. That's correct. West Indian lilac. That is absolutely correct. They've seen them. the movies, Copster. Woo. All right. Name three of the four raptors that are part of Owen's pack in Jurassic World. Just three of them. Seems like they know it. They're listening at all. It appears they did like Jurassic World. I'm a fan. Not so much fun. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Cody Hall. We got Blue, Delta, Echo, and I think the fourth one was Charlie. What a That's show correct. off. Yes. He only needed three, gave us four. What do we got? I went Blue, Delta, and Charlie. That All right. Correct. No Echo needed for Perry. She maintains a two-point advantage over Cody Hall. Just over 10 minutes have gone by. Back to you, Copster. All right. What was the name given to the new genetically created dinosaur in Fallen Kingdom? Not a lot of hesitation on that one, although nah. they've only seen the movie maybe 10 times total each. Maybe, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down to Perry. 
Indoraptor. Yes. Indoraptor. That is correct. Give me your point. All Next right. question. Who says the line in Jurassic Park 3, this is how you play God? You need the first name. This one. Okay. There's a little hesitation for her, but I think she knows it. Cody seems like he's confident. A lot of playing God in all these movies. Yes. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down to Cody. Alan. That's correct. Alan. That is <laughs> correct. the exclamation point again <laughs> for the goo. All right. In the Lost World, what sport does Kelly participate in to which she claimed she was cut from the team? I could have written this one. Yeah. I think I'd have about 10 points. So far. Oh, okay, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down to Perry. Gymnastics. That's correct. Gymnastics. That's correct. Man, it's one damn. scene. Can't believe they cut her from the team. It's only one scene. Yeah, athleticism that she showed in a clutch moment. Only one movie in the Jurassic franchise has not shown a Stegosaurus. Name the movie. This is one of my favorite ones. I feel bad for this Stegosaurus. <laughs> it's, it's one of the most popular dinosaurs from That's very true. my childhood, anyway. Five, four, three, two, one. We go pens down to Cody. I think it's the first Jurassic Park. That's correct. First Jurassic Park. That is correct. Poor guy, he's got cornflakes on his back. All right, what type of dinosaur appears as a hologram that scares one of the velociraptors chasing the main characters in the final act of Jurassic World? I don't even think I needed to finish that. That was, they're already. Sorry, writing on. I, I just feel bad for this thing. I'm gonna write a letter to Steven Spielberg. It's the first dinosaur movie. Yeah, Stegosaurus has enough problems. Yeah. Five, four, it's in the book. three, two, one, to Perry. Dilophosaurus. That's correct. Dilophosaurus. That is correct. They know a lot about dinosaurs, not just yes. Jurassic Park. The spelling looked pretty good there, too. <laughs> Next question. What other theme park does Hammond mention that also had issues on its opening day? Okay, I don't want to harp on this, but a Stegosaurus mm -hmm. is like a, that's a showcase that's a staple, dinosaur. Right? Yes. It was either that or the Triceratops. You're going to yeah. tell me raptors are more? Five, four, three, two, one. And pens down to Cody. Disneyland? That's correct. I wrote Disney. No, no, no. Does that not Disneyland. count? They needed <laughs> Disneyland uh. because there's also Disney World. There's also mm -hmm. Euro Disney. All right. I believe that still exists somewhere. All righty. Uh, what city does the film's climactic T-Rex chase take place in the Lost World? Okay, last one I'm going to say is that we could have had the Toronto Stegosauruses potentially as a basketball <laughs> team instead of Toronto Raptors, and I think that's the way it should yeah. be going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, five. Four, I'm done now. Three, okay. two, one. <laughs> One, Perry. San Diego. That's correct. San Diego. San Diego. Yes. You stay classy and they stay pretty dead even. Woo, Perry close. clinging to a one point lead. 16 and a half minutes left. Next question. Paul Kirby claims his business is called Kirby Enterprises, but it is eventually revealed to be called what? Oh, I love that they know it so quickly. Or at least. <laughs> possibly know. So I gotta be honest, I didn't even know what question I was reading. <laughs> I can even tell you what movie or series that's from. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down to Cody. Is it Kirby Paint and Tile Plus? That is correct. Kirby Paint and Tile. Gotta have that plus. And, uh, yeah, you gotta have that plus at the end. You gotta have the yes. plus. According to our Jurassic Park expert, Comster, we are all tied at 24. Ooh. Neither competitor using their timeout yet. Okay. Comster, you have the next question. Who scored Jurassic World? As everybody rolls their eyes. Oh. All right. I, I, I scored Jurassic World. You know what I scored it? A win. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. It's an Iron Man for us, too. Perry? It's so Michael Giacchino? That's that is correct. correct. It's Michael Giacchino. That is correct. All right. Back to your next question. Still tied. 25 each. What is the name of the boat? carrying the T-Rex on its way to San Diego. <laughs> For real? It is said and seen on the movie, yes. <laughs> See, I don't understand how this is a tougher question than half the other ones. Yet. I mean. They perceive. Five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down to Cody. The Bodie boat. <laughs> mm, <laughs> That's pretty good. Unfortunately, no. It would be the SS Venture. It, it is, is correct. The SS Venture and Perry reclaims her lead. All righty, in Jurassic Park 3, what type of dinosaur is seen flying away at the end of the film? We are a little over halfway done with the match. Wow. This is where the Iron Man format really starts coming into yeah. play. Who's going to maintain their endurance? Still a very close match right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Fends down to Perry. Pteranodon. That's correct. I said Pterodon. I don't think it's the... I yeah. had that, don't and then the I point. added it. Get a Pteranodon. <laughs> yeah, okay, it is a two-point advantage for Perry matching That's the biggest lead of the game. literally what I wrote at yeah. first. 
And your next question, what is being cooked for the guests on Jurassic Park after they witness the Velociraptor paddock? It always the name really of the good. main dish. It always looked really good, too, that dish. Um, I will reserve my comments for after the <gasps> answer is revealed. Yes. Five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one to Cody. Is it bass? Yeah, we can accept that. What? Chili and sea bass. We are going to accept either bass, chili and sea bass. But I bass. don't get plus? No, you do not that's get not two cool. points, unfortunately, but you do get a delicious fish dish. Okay. All right. In Fallen Kingdom, what is Lockwood's granddaughter's name? Yeah, I just like, as soon as I see anything, I don't care, you can spice up Chile and see, but I, Nothing. It, it's seafood. They, mm -hmm. they could have been serving, you know, uh, fish sticks. Oh, and I'd yeah. say no thank you. Okay. I like no shrimp. thank you, Ham. Give me the ice cream. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Perry. Maisie. That's correct. Millie. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Boy. And the crowd not liking Cody oh. Hall's recent Damn. play. Next Those question. Finish the line from John Hammond. The voice you're now hearing is Richard Kiley. The voice you're now hearing is Richard Kiley. Is that a better version of asking the question? I'm sorry. Yeah. Five, I'm gonna try. Four. We're a good team. Three, two, one. Pens down. Perry. Spare no expense. That's correct. Spare no expense. That it, uh, yes, that is correct. Spared no expense. We can accept that. Okay. And it is 30 to 27 now, Comster. Okay. Back to you. What type of dinosaur is, it oh. uses its bowl-shaped head to attack one of the engine soldiers in the Lost World? <sighs> okay. Again. Going to give them a little bit extra time. A little to, bit extra time. And at least pronounce it correctly. Yeah. It's, it's not like you got to write. It's not like the answer is cat or dog. Right. A little bit longer. Okay. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. And pens down to Cody. I forgot the exact name. Is it Pachyosaurus? No, Pachyo it's close. This is the worst spelling. It's Pachy Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus? Cephalosaurus. Seth, yeah, so like C-E-P-H, right? Okay. Yep, yep. she oh, did spell it correctly. She did spell it correctly. She's going to get That's the point. All right. Uh, Cody agrees with uh, one and a half of the judges, so it is 31 <laughs> to 27. Four-point advantage for Perry. Next question for the field. What is the name of Hammond's greedy nephew and man antagonist in the Lost World. Main antagonist. Uh, the man. The man <laughs> antagonist. I, I gave them a hint. It is not a woman. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember really loving that movie. Five. It's a good movie. Move four. Three. Two. One. Pens down to Perry. Peter Ludlow. That's correct. Ludlow. That's correct as well. All right. John Hammond tells Ellie Sattler that his first theme park attraction was what? Yeah, we've been playing this game a while. Uh, still 11 and a half minutes it's left. Very, Anything very close. can happen. Yes. Four point lead, especially when you get into the lightning round. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Cody. Flea Circus? That's correct. Flea Circus called Petticoat Lane. Okay, she's showing up. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. It's she all an illusion. A four point advantage. Your next question Who plays the young girl attacked by compies at the start of the lost world? I was a big fan of her growing up. Yeah, it sounds like you were. Yeah. It sounds like you may have had a hand in the authoring of one or two of these questions. Just a few. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Perry. Camilla Bell. That's correct. Camilla Bell. That is correct. I know a lot about a lot of stuff. All right. Jurassic Park's tagline was an adventure blank million years in the making. Oh, I remember seeing that post. An adventure. So often. Do you want to use the uh, JT rule? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Jurassic Park's tagline was an adventure blank million years oh. in the making. I, I mean, when you saw that poster walking into Carmike Cinemas in yes. Lawrence, Virginia, mm -hmm. you lost your shit mm. knowing that this is going to happen. It's today. finally going to happen. Five, four, three, two, one. How long was it, Cody? 65. That's correct. 65. That is correct. Nailed it. Next question. What year did the Lost World Jurassic Park come out? Is it the Lost World Jurassic Park? The Lost Jurassic World. Park, the Lost World. It's, it's the Lost World. I am losing Jurassic all Park. kinds of points. Perry currently enjoys the advantage the Steelers beat the Cowboys in Super Bowl 13 with. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down to Perry. Is it 97? That's correct. 97. That is correct. I got that one. All right. Which original Jurassic Park character appears on the back of a book in Jurassic World? So it's still a four-point game. Nine and a half minutes left. Neither competitor using their timeout. They have three and a half minutes left. If they want to cash that chip mm -hmm. in, five, four, 
Three, two, one, to Cody. Ian Malcolm, that's correct. Ian Malcolm. That is correct. Also would have accepted Dr. Ian Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Question is, who played Amanda Kirby in the movie Jurassic Park 3? Should have you watch that movie just for shits and gigs. Well, I could do a commentary for the winners. We already did one. Well, I will see myself out. Five, four, three, two, one. No guts, no glory. Perry Nemiroff. Tay Leone. That's correct. Tay Leone. That is correct. That is correct. All righty. In Fallen Kingdom, what was the ultimate sin that Benjamin Lockwood committed that tore apart his friendship with Hammond? I know the ultimate sin that Copster committed that tore apart his friendship with Mark. Okay. All he wanted to do was do a fun little commentary. You can do any other movie. It seems like that ship has sailed. Okay. Five. Four, do Wally. Three, two, one. Pens down to Perry. Uh, he cloned his daughter. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Cloned a human. Yeah. Yeah, we can accept that. That's yeah, correct. That, uh, that'll cause a rift in some friendships. <laughs> what did Billy steal and keep hidden from the other survivors in Jurassic Park 3? I got to tell you, mm -hmm. I've had so many friends who get so pissed at me when I clone their daughters. <laughs> it's like I'm just having some fun in my basement. Relax. <laughs> Jeez. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> the movie's pretty ridiculous. One, Cody Hall. Raptor eggs. That's correct. Raptor eggs. That is correct. All right. Five minutes on the clock. <laughs> who plays Dieter Stark, Roland's second in command, who is eventually killed by the compies in the last world? The lost world, excuse me. I wish Fallen Kingdom was the last one. All right, go to five, four, three. One, Perrin Emeroff. Peter Stormare. That's correct. Dude from Fargo. He uh. is the dude from Fargo, but unfortunately, his name is Peter Stormare. Can't Storm. accept that. So now it's a five-point gash that Perry has open. Seven yes. and a half minutes left to go in the Iron Man. Next question. In Jurassic Park, when Dodgson delivers money to Nedry, how many species of dinosaurs does he mention are on the island? Dotson. Good stuff. Dotson. <laughs> Dotson. We've got Dotson here. See, nobody cares. <laughs> Great scene, great, well, great wardrobe. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, Cody Hall. 15? That's correct. Yes. 15. Yes, that is correct. Also right, Perry Nemiroff not blinking even when Cody gets a question accurate. Who played Eddie Carr in The Lost World? All right. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> how many repeats do I get? Just one. You get oh. two? two. She has, she has two more. Yep. Oh, what do you mean three? All right, and we go to five, four, three, two, one. Perry Nemiroff, did he have it? Richard Schiff. That is Cody correct. Hall, do you know what TV show Richard <laughs> Schiff was on? Okay, no. He's in Fargo. No, he wasn't on. Okay, that. six point lead. Back to you, Copster. In Jurassic Park, when Grant discovers that the dinosaurs have been breeding, what kind of frog does he claim changes sex in a single sex environment? Woo. Okay, and after this question, mm. you're gonna have the last opportunity to call a timeout. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, Cody. West African? It is indeed yes. a West African. West African. West That's African. Bullfrog to be exactly. They both get the oh. point. That's correct. Uh, timeout. Okay, Perry. Woo. Wisely using her wow. timeout, and I say wisely because yes. Copster and I need a break to recap the incredible action yeah. that we have seen thus far. Copster, we have a 44 to 38 lead, and Perry wisely using her timeout to regroup because these last five minutes, yes. anything can happen, especially when we get into the two-minute lightning round. Mm -hmm. They've both been pretty good for the most part. It's some of those, it's some of those who plays who questions that are kind of tripping Cody up a little bit. And uh, Cody, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the the actors and actresses that were actually. It's almost as though Cody Hall doesn't know that Jurassic Park films are just movies that's correct. he thinks that they're actual documentaries mm. with the real people involved in the action based off of things that were found yeah well when he's old enough we'll change that and we recap once again perry nemiroff cody hall both big jurassic park fans of all the movies especially Three, fallen kingdom two, 44 one, and here we go 38 we're back all right in fallen kingdom what made the indoraptor so special compared to the other dinosaurs being auctioned off uh that's something stuck in my teeth for a minute bothering me. Okay. You don't need to comment on necessarily everything that the audience saying, can't see. The audience can see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Need the pens down? Cody. It was a hybrid. Mm. With blue and the endo, the endomino. Oh. Mm, no. Can't accept that. I started writing specifics. I know it has heightened smell, and then there's the laser tracking system. Oh, we can accept tracking system. The oh. Indoraptor was right. trained to track and attack at other people. Yes, right. I mean, a hybrid isn't special anymore. Uh, right. Hybrid's not special enough. Seven point lead. Your next question. Ted Levine's mercenary, Ken Wheatley, collects from what dinosaurs? 
as a trophy in Fallen Kingdom. He collects what from dinosaurs, no. more specifically? Again, the yin and the yang of announcing. That's me and you. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Perry. Teeth. That's correct. Teeth. That's correct. It's in fact teeth. Jake Johnson's character, Lowry, is wearing a vintage Jurassic Park shirt in Jurassic World. Where did he buy the shirt? I like that, Jake Johnson. I'm a big fan. I like the Let's Be Cops a lot. Oh, I like New Girl. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one to Cody. eBay. Yep. eBay. That's correct. Got it on eBay. Next question. Who composed the score for Jurassic Park? Three. <laughs> Did it, Did it, that's evil. That, that's what you call a slider. It looks like a fastball. Mm, and about it cuts halfway in through, and then just. Second. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. We go to the more confident looking Perry Oh, no. 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 In there, Cody, can you get Davis? That is correct. Ew. Don Davis. And Cody, Cody, a much needed point back to you, Copter. Zach and Gray are traveling in what when they are attacked by the Indominus Rex? Ooh, Cody needs in Jurassic to start World. picking up some points here. Got just over a minute until <clears throat> we take a break to set up for the lightning speed round. I'm nervous. Five, four, three, two, one. Cody Hall. Gyrosphere. Correct. Gyrosphere. That is correct. Gyrosphere. Next question. What two movies in the series feature the main characters heading to the island via plane? And that series again. Is it 13 movies in this one? Oh, five. Five. Five, yeah. But a new one coming. When dinosaurs are involved, always another train. Five, five like 13 movies. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, Perry Nemiroff. Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World. Incorrect. I have three in Fallen. I, I wanted to say Fallen Kingdom. I ran out of time. Fallen oh, Kingdom is We correct. can accept yes. Fallen they Kingdom. Bo as they fun. board a plane in Jurassic World. The parents dropped them off at the airport. No, but to get to the island, they went via boat. Transported them actually to the island. We got one more question, okay. and this will be the last question until we get to the speed round. Okay. And that question is, who played Hammond's silent partner, Benjamin Lockwood, in <laughs> Fallen Kingdom? What the hell his is name his is name? escaping and me. And the, the language has come out here. <laughs> yes. No repeat. more bombs. Oh, wait. Should I wait till we count? Uh, five, four. All right. Repeat the question. Three. All right. Who played Hammond's silent partner, Benjamin Lockwood, in Fallen Kingdom? Ah, some controversy here. Some fists mm. flying. This is what you love in an Iron Man match. What I five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. What do you have, Perry? James Cromwell. That is correct. I knew it was and James. Cody Hall knew it was James. Couldn't get the Cromwell. Ooh. And that is how the first 28 minutes of the Ooh. Iron Man match play out with Perry and Cody, both displaying a tremendous yes. amount of Jurassic Park know-how. Mm -hmm. Perry a little bit better to the tune of a six-point advantage yes. heading into the speed round. Cops, are you sitting next to Cody? He's editing mm -hmm. all the live long day. Do you yes. think Can he's going to be quicker first? on the buzzer than Cody Hall? I don't know. It's going to be – we'll see because uh, the match is still very, very – close it's only six points and you know it's all going to determine which ones they know and if they don't want to do it then uh, you know they don't don't hit the buzzer and here we go the competitors are set with their buzzers two minutes Ooh. is on the clock and it is a barn burner here yes. because cody hall and perry nemiroff are deadlock perry she can almost smell the jurassic park belt i don't know if we have a belt but we do have the crown of champion for jurassic park know-how here in the collider video studios but cody hall waiting there in the shadows just in case perry trips up because this is the lightning round mm -hmm. and here's how it works like i said each competitor have a buzzer copster is going to ask you each question in the last two minutes as soon as you think you know the correct answer buzz in but beware once you buzz in and i address who buzzed in first by their first name you have exactly two seconds to give us the correct answer if you answer inaccurately or you don't answer in the allotted time you are going to lose a point if you buzz in and you get it right within two seconds you gain a point obviously there is no stealing in any lightning or speed round format. The two minutes is gonna be a continuous two minutes and it's gonna start running as soon as Copster's done asking the first question or as soon as a competitor buzzes in if they know the first question and the clock will continue to run. If we get to zero during the asking of a question, that question does count in competition. And I stress that because we've already seen that come into play yes. in previous Ironman matches. Perry, are you ready? Yep. 
Cody, you ready? Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Copster, are you ready? I am ready. Very nervous, but I'm ready. All right, Copster, ask the first question. When you're done asking it, the clock will start. All right, here we go. What type of fish does a Mosasaurus eat before a giant crowd in Jurassic World? Perry. Shark. That's correct. Who played documentarian Nick Van Owen in The Lost World? Perry. Uh, Vince Vaughn. That's correct. Which original Jurassic Park lead returns in Fallen Kingdom? Cody. Cody. Uh, Ian Malcolm. That's Jeff correct. Uh, what dinosaur kills Cooper in Jurassic Park 3? Cody. Spinosaurus. That's correct. Which major, major wireless company sponsored the Indominus Rex? Cody. Verizon Wireless. That's correct. What is the name of the man who delivers money to Nedry in Jurassic Park? Harry. Uh, Dachshun. That's correct. In the Lost World, who, who said the line, Mommy's very angry? Cody. Malcolm. That's correct. What is the name of Vincent D'Onofrio's character in Jurassic World? Cody. Hoskins. That's correct. What does the parachute say in Jurassic Park 3? Cody. Dinosaur. That's correct. How many volts does of, of electricity are the fences? Aww. Cody. 10,000. That's correct. What is Owen doing when Claire arrives to see him at the first time in Fallen Kingdom? He's Cody. building a house. That's correct. Who directed Jurassic World? Perry. Uh, J.A. Biona. No, no, That's fuck. Colin, Colin Trevorrow. Which celebrity talk show host appears in Jurassic World? Cody. Uh, Jimmy Fallon. That's correct. Cody is taking the lead. What island on the, what, excuse me, what island are the main characters stranded on in Jurassic Park 3? Perry. Uh, Isla, Isla Sorna. That is That's correct. correct. Which dinosaur does the T-Rex attack in the open field after Dr. Grant and the kids flee from them? Perry. Gallimimus. That's correct. Uh, no, that's too Perry long. Perry has the lead. Who was a voice, who has a voice cameo as Mr. DNA in Jurassic World? <sighs> Can't remember. Yeah, not gonna. Five, four, three, two, one. Three Next seconds. question. Which state are Dr. Grant and Dr. Sadler based out of? Montana. That's correct. Who plays Ellie Millis, Eli Millis, Lockwood's ambitious assistant in Fallen Kingdom? Rafe Spall. That's correct. Uh, what means of transportation does Malcolm and his crew take to get to the Isla Sorna? Cody. A boat. That's correct. Two point game. What do the mercenaries collect at the bottom of the park's lagoon at the start of Fallen Kingdom? Cody. The Indominus Rex bone. That's correct. Who said this? I bet you'll never look at birds the same again in Jurassic Park. Alan Cody. Grant. That's correct. Tied game. Last question. In the Lost World, the characters find the baby T-Rex badly injured. What sort of injury does it have? Paris. Leg fracture. Th that's correct. Uh, you're... And your oh, winner! Shit. I was the so nervous. Of cats, the Holy mother shit. of Dewey. It was a fracture. Was that? Oh my good oh. lord! And Cody Hall coming all the way back from a oh six-point deficit at the beginning of the lightning speed oh. round to take the lead at one point, only to rescind it back to Perry Nemiroff. Boy, I I don't know if I could take another one of these Iron Man I'm matches, shook. Gobster. I am shook. Woo. Oh my goodness! <gasps> that was down to the wire. <sighs> at, at one point, I thought it was Perry. I thought it was Cody. I thought it was both of them. I thought it was tied in the end, but instead Perry takes it out at the very end. I don't think people appreciate the toll that this takes on the announcers, much less the competitors. Oh. If I could just briefly get a word with the, the winner and the loser, uh, Perry, you, you won a match that seemed to be clearly within your grasp, and then you lost the lead entirely, and then you got it back. Did you know what the situation was the whole speed round, or did you just keep your head down? You know what I blame it on? Not getting to practice with these buzzers. Wow. Huh? I'm just kidding. I don't you really care. But, hard. uh, that was awesome. I was getting really freaking nervous at the end. The love of her cat, Dewey, got her through the last 30 seconds. Cody Hall, you come back. Did you realize that you had taken the lead with just under a minute to go? Yeah, that's probably my mistake, actually. I looked at it, and I lost focus for a second, and I got too distracted. Man, all it takes is one second. I think a hell of a match played wow. by both yes. competitors in this Jurassic Park schmodown. And if this match is any indication, we need a lot more of these themed matches, Copter, because yes. not only are they exciting for the patrons out there, they're really fun for us that here in the studio. And I think Jurassic Park, a good franchise to mm -hmm. kick off with Perry and Cody. I would put their knowledge as a team up against anybody else out there in the entire world. Absolutely. Dino Dinosaur or human. Yes, that was a lot of fun. I mean, I love this franchise, and I know that these two love it as well, and they really proved that they know this franchise more than anyone else. And we love you out there in the movie trivia showdown world. A special thanks to all of our patrons watching this match super early before the rest of the world gets to witness it. If you are now watching the match for free, you can check out the movie trivia Patreon. Select which tier is right for you so you can watch more of these special matches first and foremost. I want to thank not only Cody Hall and Perry Nama for being such game competitors, 
here in the studio today. I also want to thank my announcing partner, Christian Ruvalcaba. Hopefully, Thanks. it's not the last time that we see you, Cobster, around these announcing parts here at the movie Trivia Schmoda. Yeah, it probably is the last time I'll be up here. <laughs> a much better attitude up here than he does when he's running the camera. And that's why we love our Cobster. I am merely Mark Ellis. For everybody up here at the movie Trivia Schmodown, we'll see you guys next time. Check out the Schmodown Rundown on iTunes, the movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page, and go watch some dinosaur movies. Boom! Boom!